Welcome back to Ify Chronicles. In this video, we're going to be farming Menta Pacific, which is a blockchain that is currently tokenless. And you guys know that usually whenever we get an airdrop for a blockchain, usually it is pretty huge, usually a few thousand dollars. So that's why I'm going to be showing you everything that I know on how you can farm this blockchain. So starting first, this is just a layer two blockchain as usual so the transactions are usually less expensive currently on DeFi Llama the total value lock is around 20 million dollars give or take usually they should have a little bit more since um, DeFi Llama they don't add all the projects so most likely they should be sitting at 30 million dollars give or take so first if you want to send some funds to Menta just use Omni BTC which is what I am currently using I'm going to be adding a link in the description for it so let's see I think I have my funds on ZK Sync on that wallet let me go ahead and double check if I am not mistaken, I would have to. Yeah, I have my funds on ZK Sync. So let me go ahead and switch to ZK Sync era. There you go. And then I'm going to choose Menta. Um, where's Menta? Where it is, where it is. There we go. Menta Pacific. And you need to be sending some ETH because that is what they use for the gas fees, at least for now, until they launch their own token. So I'm going to be sending. Most likely the biggest amount, which is around seven. Let me just add a little bit more just for it to be eight hundred dollars. And then we're going to be swapping and then sending those funds. It will cost us around two sixty eight dollars to send those funds. So we go ahead and confirm the transaction right here. And there you go. So in the meantime, let me show you guys something. So if you want to farm some projects that are tokenless on Menta, just come to DeFi Llama and click on airdrops. Once you're here, click on filter, remove the filter and then add Menta. So now you can see all the projects that are tokenless. So you can go ahead and farm it. Obviously, click on TVL so you can see the first one and also make sure that they are actually tokenless because, for example, lead swap, it is not tokenless. Uh, but usually I would say maybe 80% of these projects are actually tokenless. So on the first one, we have Aperture Swap, we have Kilo X, Specific Swap. So these are actually the one that I'm going to be using, or at least showing you guys. So let's go ahead and start with Aperture and then Kilo X. Let me go ahead and double check if I already received my funds. Let's see. Menta. There we go, 796. So now we can use Aperture or this is what Pacific Swap. And then lastly, we have um, Kilo X, which Kilo X for me is actually the one that I want to farm the most just because of the TVL, which is at $2.55 million. I have one main issue with farming Aperture and also Pacific Swap is that currently there is a lot of spread between the price. So for example, if I type 1 ETH, oops, 1 ETH, which the price is 2069. You guys will see um, the amount of money that I'm going to be receiving for that, which I'm going to be losing like 2% in spread. And that is something that I don't want to be losing. And it is actually the same thing for Aperture. So let me go ahead and select this, select USDC, and type 1. Let me go ahead and double check. So as you can see, I'm going to be losing a lot of money. Um, What, $40, $45? Yeah, $45 in just one swap. Obviously, I don't have one ETH, but just for you to see that I'm going to be losing 1.96%. So this is something that I am planning to farm in the future, but not right now. If you want to do it and lose 2% every time you take a swap, go for it. But at least for me, it doesn't really make sense. It is actually the same for Aperture. It is a little bit less, but still, it is 77.77 .77, um, spread or price impact. So I actually found one that you can take your swap, and that is Symbiosis. But unfortunately, Symbiosis is not tokenless, but at least you can add some volume. So just come here to Symbiosis, you connect your wallet, you switch to Menta, and then you make sure here that you're clicking first on Menta and then ETH, Secondly, you're going to be clicking again on Menta, then USDC, and I'm going to be swapping 0.3 ETH. And the spread is actually amazing. 
So usually whenever we have these big projects, usually the spread is pretty good on them. So we're going to be waiting a little bit. Let me go ahead and uh, in the meantime, let's see if this loads. Do 0.3 again to see if it comes. Let's see, 0 0.77, so that is 260. Let me see how much that would be. 623. Mm -mm -mm. Holy cow. So yeah, the price impact really doesn't make any, any freaking sense right now. So I'm going to be doing this. Let's go ahead and do a swapping. And we do need to confirm that right here. And there you go. So now we have our first transaction. We just need to wait a little bit. And then we're going to be using Kilo X, which is a trading platform. So basically, basically we cannot um, swap, but at least we can take some trades. And since it is tokenless, at least we can also farm it at the same time. So I'm going to be using, um, let's see, order by value. You're available USDT. Oh, I need USDT for this. Huh. I will need to swap that back. Let me go ahead and do this. To Menta USDT. Let me wait or confirm. Okay, max. Let's see if I get a good price. Yeah, pretty good. First, we need to approve. And by the way, if this is laggy, usually Symbiosis is extremely laggy. I don't know why. Click next, approve. And then we're going to be swapping. By the way, one way that I have found that is Kind of interesting to add some volume is by using OmniBTC. Let me go ahead and confirm this first. And then cross-chain swapping some funds. So for example, if I have funds on Menta and I want to send it to ZK Sync, then I can do it because in the end, I'm going to be receiving some points or some volume on Menta, but also on ZK Sync. So I'm basically farming two blockchains at the same time. And also OmniBTC is also tokenless. So just me doing this back and forth, I'm basically farming three projects at the same time. So that is pretty interesting. Obviously, you still need to have some diversification, maybe swapping, maybe um, trading, maybe purchasing a few NFTs, so on and so forth. But I do think it is pretty interesting to do it like that at least a few times. So you can at least have some volume on Menta and also ZK Sync and at the same time OmniBTC. So by now I should have my USDT. Let me come back to Kilo X. There it is. And order by value. I'm just going to do 600. Let me see. I think I can go 100%. Oh, no, my bad. Leverage to X. Okay, 1.2K, so that is uh, around half an ETH. Let me go ahead and buy long. Hopefully, I don't lose a lot of money. And we have uh, 600, next approve. That should be open by now. Let's see. Or most likely still confirming. No. So let's go ahead and wait. Should pop up. Oh, there you go. Confirm. So as you can see, Manta is not the quickest, obviously. So let's wait. Uh, placing the order. There you go. Market long. Let's wait. There we go. Okay. So now it is open. So basically now I have a volume of 1.2K. 
So let's go to ZK Codex or zksync.netlify.app to check our volume. So I'm gonna copy my wallet address, paste it. We're gonna be scanning. Mm -mm. Let me go ahead and refresh to see if it works. Still laggy, though. No. Let's see. Okay, there you go. So interaction, I have six different contracts. I have five. My volume is at 2.6K. I don't have any NFTs at the moment, but I'm going to show you one that you can uh, mint. My fees are at $6.45. So at least right now, interactive contract, or it is at five. So that is pretty good. And obviously, in the future, whenever the spread is a little bit better, I'm going to be farming this and also Pacific Swap. But at the moment, it really doesn't make sense for me to do it. So next on the list is uh, Menta, not, not Pacific, which is coming from NFTs to me, which NFTs to me is also tokenless. So let's go ahead and mint one. And lastly, I'm gonna show you how you can also deploy a contract so your wallet can actually pop up as a developer. This is getting super slow. So third web in the meantime, let me see. Third web, as usual, you guys probably saw it. I have deployed a contract on Starknet on, um, let's see what else, on ZK Sync, on Scroll, on Linea, so you can use it for many blockchains. So here, just come to the website, click on Explore. Let me see if I can show you. So first you have Deploy, and then you're gonna click on Explore right here. And then token. Whenever they want to do, okay. So there you go. So now that I'm connected, I'm gonna click on deploy. Make sure that you are on Menta Pacific. We're gonna add the name of the token. So let's just use DCM. DCM, I don't really need a description. We're gonna click on deploy. Then we're gonna be confirming the transaction right here. Let's just wait a quick second. Go ahead and reload this. It looks like it is a little, little bit slow because I have my VPN on. Okay, mint. Still waiting. Okay, there we go. So this transaction is actually coming from NFTs to me. And we're still waiting this one. Oh, there we go. And for dollar forty nine. Yeah, usually that is the price for third web. But since we're only gonna be doing it once, that's okay. If you wanna drop it a little bit, you can do so. Then you do confirm, and that's it. Let's see if that one is ready. There you go, perfect. You can also claim one of these so you can have a second NFT if you wanna do so. Let's go ahead and remove, there we go. So now I have one NFT. Let's go ahead and double check here and refresh to see what are my transactions. This is from third web that I have to confirm. So sign, great. So right now my interactive contract is at seven, then my volume is at 2.6K fees, it is at 11 and interaction at eight. Still waiting for the NFT to pop up. Usually it, we need to wait a few minutes or most likely maybe one hour so it can show up. Let's go to token. Looks like everything is working properly. 
in the meantime, while we have this loading, let me show you guys something. So right now they have like a campaign on Menta. So it is pretty simple. First we have following, then we have taking some swaps. So you can take a swap on Dodo, then a, a cross chain swap, then the same thing on Symbiosis, then a on chain swap, which means that you need to take the swap from Menta to Menta. Then the same thing from Rubik, then on-chain swap for, for Rubik. Then we have OmniBTC, which we already did. Then we have Kiam, which is adding some liquidity, 25 then $50. You can just go with $50 so you can get those two points. Then they have one for Layer Bank and a few other ones as um, minting a few NFTs and then bridging that NFT then following some more people then voting here registering claiming an nft and so on and so forth so even though most of these projects are actually not tokenless but just by doing so you will be adding more transaction and also more diversification here um I, i'm not really expecting anything huge from this fest or this quest but most likely at least you will be taking some different transactions so that is really what is important so let's go back here once you're done, you need to click on token tab so you can mint your tokens. So we're going to add any number that you want. Doesn't really matter. We're going to click on mint and then confirm the transaction. Confirm. There we go. And if you're actually doing it, you can drop the the gas fees. But since I'm doing the video, that's why I have it on normal. So it can confirm a little bit quicker. Okay, perfect. So all the things that you can use is transferring, which you can transfer to another wallet. I actually don't recommend that because if you're farming the other wallets, it might show that these wallets are connected. So the only one that I like to use is burn. So let me just use any number here. I'm going to click on burn so I can add another, another transaction. What you can also do is that uh, maybe mint the token today and then tomorrow burn it or burn a little bit of it so it can show that you're taking more and more transaction on um, the blockchain. So lastly, make sure that you're using the blockchain at least a few times a month. Um, usually they track it by month or weekly. So you can maybe take once a week or maybe once or two, two times a month. And then make sure that you can maybe push it to above $10,000 in volume. I think that would be the best bet if you can push it to um, maybe $10,000 in volume, at least 25 transactions, and then interacted contracts, which would be different projects, at least to 10. Obviously, this is something that you can just continue to do, minting more NFTs and then using the blockchain um, a little bit more. Right now, we have seven interactive contracts. Whenever Aperture is working or Pacific is working, what I'm going to do by then, I would have like nine and then maybe using some other projects. Just by using this on the quest, you're going to be adding a lot of projects. So there you go. Just make sure that you continue to add more and more volume, more transaction, and most likely you're going to be receiving a pretty good airdrop. And then making sure that you're checking your volume, last transactions and everything else. There you go, guys. If you have any questions, any doubts, as usual, just drop it in the comment section. And if this content was valuable enough, please share it to a friend. Subscribe, like, happy farming, guys.